In this section of the course, we're going to be creating a GIF or a GIF, however you pronounce it, in Photoshop. It's a great way to promote uh, an article of yours or any product or service that you have to offer as an online business. I use them when I'm doing big promotions for my online courses or to put them in my articles. And you can see here, this is what we're going to be creating. And you have the movie that is a part of this course. So if you want to download that, you can and get going. That's the only file you need. So the first thing we're going to do is figure out how to open up a video in Photoshop. Well, there's a couple ways to do it. One is actually just by going right click, open with, and then finding Photoshop. Of course, I'm with on a Mac. So if you're on a PC, you're going to have to do the similar thing on a PC. But an easier way is to start within Photoshop. So I already have the project that I created open, but I'm going to go ahead and start a new project. So go up to File, New. And now I want to set the size for this GIF. So you can do a square image, you can do a banner, you can do whatever you want. For this image, I decided to go with a square and I'm going to go 500 pixels wide by 500 pixels tall and then the resolution of 150 pixels per, per inch. So then just go ahead and click OK and we have our composition right here of our Photoshop doc. So at first you probably won't see this timeline so I'm going to go ahead and close this timeline. You're probably going to be seeing something like this. So what you can actually just do is go to your finder find the video that you want, whether you're using this one or another, and just drop it into Photoshop. Now Photoshop is going to take a little time to load it, but now we have this video, but now we only see the first part of the video. So what we're going to do first is go up to Window and add Timeline. So Window Timeline, and we're going to click this Create Video Timeline button. First, I'm going to have to actually press enter on my keyboard so that this video is actually placed in here. And then I'm going to click this create video timeline. And now we have this timeline that starts at the beginning of this video clip to the end. So what's cool is that in Photoshop, you can actually edit your video and only select a certain part of your video to create the GIF. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to increase the size of this video and you can see as I click and drag the corner, it starts to change the aspect. So I'm going to hold shift down while I click and drag and just basically make this the size of this square, put it right about centered. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this timeline, I'll call it a scrubber first pressing return on my keyboard to place that video right there in the center. And I'm going to find a good take. So I think something like that is a pretty good take. And what I can do then is you have this in point and this out point on the timeline. So if I take this in point and drag it to the beginning of the clip where I want the GIF to start, and then I go to the end and I move this endpoint in right there. Now what I can do is play through it. So I click this play button and it plays through the animation. And if it's not looping for you, you can go to tools, loop playback. You can change the resolution to 25% or 100% depending on how fast your computer is. It might take a little bit of time for it to load and play, but this looks pretty good. So you can basically re-edit your videos, you can move them around, and you can select where you want your GIF to be. Our GIF is about four seconds, which is a pretty good size, going from 15 seconds to about 18, so about three or four seconds, so that's pretty good. That means the file size will be a good size. If you do create a GIF that's 10 seconds long or more, or even more than five seconds long, this file size is going to be pretty big and a lot of websites don't allow file sizes that big. And of course it depends on how big the resolution and the size of your composition is. Right now it's at 500 pixels by 500 pixels, which is good. And sometimes even smaller, I'll export this at a lower 
lower size. But in the next step, we're going to be adding text to this GIF.